Hi, uh, welcome back, Nana here. And then uh, uh, many people are having problems with item creation actually. So there are five aspects of item creation. Fine, go there. If you go there, click on it. I will not go to what setup and maintenance. <clears throat> And I go to the setup and maintenance. And then here, what I'm there. Now go to the what? You go there, click on it. I will now go to the search and then go to the manage item class. Manage item class. So go to the manage item class. Fine. Go to the manage item class. So here, if you we normally create the item on a root item class. Fine. But people have spoiled this root item class like anything. I will now go to the edit mode. I click on edit mode. And then go there. In the edit mode, what happens? You go there. And then you go to the item management. So there are three aspects which has to be done. It will be user defined. This will be user defined. And then this, there should not be any tick mark at all. But if somebody has put a tick mark and then if you remove it, somebody again come back and then put a tick mark and then make your life hell actually. Got it, Pradeep? Yes, yes, yes. That problem. actually happened. So we are now going to see about how to avoid this problem actually. Fine. So because people are working on PDH and so what happens is they will not keep on, there are, suddenly it will be rule generated. This will be so sequence generated. All these things will be coming up again and again now. So what I'm going to do is I will now create our own item class actually. Thank you for cancel. And then in the PDH training, it will be taught about how to create a hierarchical uh, what about the item classes basically. Fine. Hierarchical item classes. So what I do is I go there, click on it, I'll now give a plus two. I'm now going to create my own item class. So go there. I will now make it as what? T01. Point. I will now say uh, item class. So I'm now creating my own item class. Okay, take top of it. Put on the item file with that and then put on the description. It will be coming over. Okay. Don't do it. Item class. And then click on the description and then paste it. Now find that one. And then what happens? Uh, save and close. T01 item class is now created below the root item class. Fine. Click on save and close. So it is available. Mm -hmm. So let me go and then uh, what happens? I keep my cursor on the T01 item class and then I will now start to edit now. <clears throat> T01. This is the one now. Fine. Select it and then click on it. Now. Fine. This is the one. T01 is the one. Selected it and then I will now go on and edit. Mm -hmm. Click on it. So we are editing it. So once we edit it, what happens? You go to the templates directly. You go to the templates and then uh, let me work on the existing one. Today. 001 is R. 000 is R. Fine. I will now go to the query because I don't have any R to demonstrate. So I will now query for the 000 R. And then the purchased item template. Purchase. So the system would have created one default template for this one. Mm -hmm. I will make a search now, fine, because somebody made a modify the name also, fine. So the organization is not coming, fine. Uh, not this one, sorry. I had to put it in the org. Now. The org, whatever, I will now put 000. And then here, I will now put what? Purchase the template. So for this org, for the purchase template, the system has already created the root item class. Okay, got it, Pradeep? Now I'm going to copy yeah, yeah, this, fine. You may be having your own master, fine. For that also, the system would have created it. I select it. And and I am also doing it to triple zero. I will now go to copy it now. I select it and then copy. This is a root item class. Fine. Click on copy. So once when I copy it, what happens? It will be coming up. I will now click on plus or fine. This is a, this is a, click on plus now. I'm going to click on plus. I'm going to add it. So organization code is what? 001. Organization name. You make a search. Now fine. Click on search. And then this is the one of I selected. And then click on apply. And then click on done. So this one is in the added. I will now click on OK. Now the Purchase item template of root item class is now getting copied into your item class now. T01 item class. The copying is getting completed now. I am now copying the purchase template of root item class into our class. Clear on this now? Yes. Yes. Now what happens? I'm going to modify this. Fine. Select it and then what happens? You go there. I will now go there. Modify it now. <clears throat> Active is there. Fine. Life cycle principle of production. I go there. And then here is a primary conversion is both. Now fine. So these things are to be done. Now, fine. Secondary unit submitted is not required actually. Fine. Because we are not learned it. <clears throat> so, so these are the first four things. And then I go to the specifications. And then here what happens? You go there. Everything will be same because what happens is the only purchase term has been copied actually. Fine. So if you go to the inventory, you can now see that all the things are yes actually the purchasing also the item defining attribute of purchased and then the purchasable status attribute they are enabled i will not give a list price of 10 now and then afterwards we'll go down i will now make all these things as yes yes everything has no done right? so all these things are done now so everything is done give us save the stop now what happens i'm going to what happens i make it as a default for my arm zero zero arm so this is not uh, 001 actually. Fine, I have to make it as what 000. Sorry, I made a mistake. If I click on it, I have to make it as what 000 actually. Go there. So I will know what happens. I will have to again copy. I made a mistake actually. It should not be for 001 actually. It should be for 000 actually. Okay, for the master. 
So select it as a yeah. class and then here what happens, I will now go and then click on copy now, fine. I have to make it for 000, zero, zero fine. Click on plus now, fine. I have to make it for 000, zero, zero, zero actually. 000, zero, zero, zero. fine. Click on search. I will now make it. So go there. So click on apply and then click on that. So you discard this now, fine. You discard 001 zero, zero, actually. It will be the 000, zero, zero. fine. Click on again. Okay, no. So I now made it for 001 zero, zero, T01 item class. So this I am going to edit now. I click on it. I will now make it as what? As a production and go there. <clears throat> I have to make it for this one. Fine. Go to the overview now. Fine. Go to the overview. In the overview, what happens? I make it as a conversion as both. No, fine. Got us. Not done. Fine. All these things are coming properly. Fine. Go there. And then go to the specifications. And then I will not give a specification for the purchase. They didn't <clears throat> it must be for 000, zero, zero actually. I made a mistake. So 10. Fine. And then go there. And then I will now make these three things are additional attributes when compared to EBS basically. And click on S. No, fine. Give us say. So no say. Now I will now make this as a default formula. And error, you must enter a new uh, name for the template actually. It's okay because the name is same actually. So go there. We have to make a new name now. Fine, so click on it now. I will not make a name now. Fine, click on it. The new name has to be given. I will also say it's a T01 purchase item triple because already we have a name there. Fine, so T01. So I'm now setting as a default. Setting as a default. Fine, click on okay. So the new name for the T01. So this is now made us and then this is a default actually. Now nobody will now come into this item class and then make anything at all. Got it now? Yes, yes, good. So you, nobody will disturb you at all. Your class, they will not disturb you at all. Your class will be as such, you no know, fine. They will all be disturbing only on the root item class. Now, when okay. you create an item on 000, this will not default for you. And then there will be always fine. Click on save and close now, fine. Not so you know, so completed the new template creation. Fine, click on that now. <clears throat> now what happens? You go there and then I will now create an item. <clears throat> I will now go to the item. Fine, go there. So I will now go to this place, fine, click on it. I will now go to item creation actually. Go there. So product management, I will now go to the product management. Go to the product management. One second. We have to go to the product management. <laughs> product management and then product information management. This time when I create an item for this, I know you zero zero zero, <clears throat> but you have to work on your org. Okay. If you put zero zero zero, then your template will come now. Your root root item class will automatically come. Fine, click on it. So no problem at all. Fine, click on create item. I will now put the org as what your zero. You order or your org, whatever is your org, you, you might have done it. Fine, I am not doing it for zero 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 actually. Now go there. So drop it down, and then here what happens is not coming because what happens is somebody has already enabled that. What happens is the uh, this thing. Fine. Uh, I what the governance and consolidation is enabled because of which order is not coming. Fine, click on cancel now. Fine. So we'll now go there. I will not reset it. Click on go to the setup and maintenance because yet somebody has enabled because people are working on it now. Fine, somebody to sell them continuously. They are working on. So it's very right. difficult to what happens to control people actually. You go to the product management and then I go to the opt-in features. Now fine. Let me disable. So when you are creating it, what happens? You have to disable and then you have to log out and log in also. Fine. That is another thing you have to do. You have to log out and log in and then only you can do it now. What is the product management? So when some so many people are working, it will be very difficult actually. Fine, go down, go down, go down. No, see, fine. The data governance is on. No, fine. It's a remote. Fine, I have no remote. Go there. And then I will now remove consolidation also. Consolidation also I remove it. Now. So data consolidation. <laughs> governance is remote. And then the bottom, there will be consolidation. Go down. We will have consolidation. <laughs> But by the time you do it, what happens? Somebody will come again and change it. No, fine. <laughs> very, very difficult. When data consolidation is also removed. I'm not removing it. So, come on, consolidation, click on the now. And now, what happens? You have to log out and log in. So, go there and then quickly create the item. Fine, go there. Log out and log in. Then, only what happens? The changes will be effective. Fine, click on it. Now, go there. So, click on sign out and then sign in. So, in this training, what happens? Tomorrow's training, I'm not going to teach only this. No, fine. So, then okay. what people will not be having any problem at all in this. <laughs> No, whatever you go there, I will not go to the product management, <clears throat> product management, product information management. Now, this time, what happens? You will not have any problem at all. It will be coming as up because nobody will touch your class actually. They will all be fiddling around only in the root item class actually. Because of what happens, half knowledge, how to do that properly, they don't know. If you go 000, zero, zero, zero put it, what happens? Your root item class will be coming automatically. Operations, your T01 is going to come off. Drop it down. I will not choose my T01 now. Fine, T01. T01 is item class is coming. Fine, go there. So your this template is also coming properly. Fine, click on OK. Fine, that's it. Fine. Now it will be coming as approved actually. Approved. Because nobody is uh, fiddling around on this now. Fine. The status is up. You won't be having a draft or a in process or anything like that will be on it. Got it now. Fine. So this is a way. Yes. You get your own class 
and then copy the uh, 000 of uh, that one and then copy into yours and then what happens is set it up. Nobody will be disturbing you in item creation actually. Okay. Good, fine. I know I will now upload it in about 10 minutes now. Fine. This way, this way. So this way you can solve this problem actually. Okay. Well, well, just for one question. Uh, now, in in my case, what happened uh, in the draft? I already created it, yeah, and now it once I am possible, you only through PDH only you can uh, what happens? I do it now. Fine, PDH is not taught to you, so you cannot okay. do anything at all. So, so, so now, now, go, but how to do it in PDH actually? So now, root class have the problem, so I can create my own and I can continue the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can create your own class. <laughs> what the purpose of a class will be taught in a product data hub training, which is starting tomorrow actually. Okay. So you can even go to my website oraclenana.com slash inv. Oraclenana.com slash inv. That training, fine, that is starting on 13th of Jan 24. And then that yeah, yeah, from tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not tomorrow, no, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So oraclenana.com slash inv will not teach you inventory as well as PDH fully. So once when you know PDH, then you will not understand, first of all, the purpose of PDH. And then PDH. why is item classes are there? Fine, everything okay. is fully taught on this. Okay. As of now, this is a workaround for you. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye.